Skill-based play is good. Play is good. We know this intuitively. Think back to when you were a kid. You know in your heart, play is good. But what is play? The etymology of play suggests that it comes from the Old English word plagia, meaning to exercise. The National Institute for Play defines play as an exercise or activity for recreation or amusement. Basically, doing things for fun. So play is good. But I suggest that skill-based play is good. So what is a skill-based play? Well, skill-based play is the manipulation of skill toys for recreation and amusement. Manipulation is the skillful use of hands. A skill toy is a generic term for a specific prop used in an object manipulation routine. So basically, it's doing stuff with stuff. What kind of stuff? Well, things like balls, sticks, rings, things with string. Now, you might not think there's lots of these things, but there are, in fact, lots. I'll go over some examples of different skill toys and how they might be manipulated, and then move on to why skill-based play is good. We begin with balls. In the balls category, there are juggling balls, which are tossed around one's body, contact juggling balls, which are rolled along one's body, and foot bags, which are manipulated around one's body using one's feet. Foot bags are also known as hacky sacks, but hacky sack is a registered trademark of the Waymo Corporation. Related to the foot bag is a Jianzi, which is a Chinese shuttlecock, and that is also kicked around one's body. It is not a ball, but it is related to the foot bag in manipulation style. Which brings us to sticks. There are batons, spinning staffs, which are closely related to the bow. If we tie a flag to the end of the bow, it becomes flag spinning or color guard. Unless, of course, it's done in the winter, then it's known as winter guard. And we have flower sticks and devil sticks. And sticks are related to clubs, and clubs come in two varieties, spinning and juggling. These are spinning clubs, also called Indian spinning clubs, and they're swung around one's body. These are juggling clubs, also known as juggling pins or bowling pins, but of course juggling clubs are not the same thing as bowling pins. Also juggled are cigar boxes, which was made famous by W.C. Fields, who started out as a vaudevillian as a juggler. Also juggling rings, which brings us to round, flat, ring-like things. In the rings category, we have spinning plates, which was a very popular act in the early part of the 20th century, often done to the music of this man, Mr. Aram Kachatorian, who wrote the song Saber Dance, which was later adopted by Pee Wee Herman as his theme song. Although they look alike, they are not the same person. We also have Flying Disc, also known as the Frisbee, once again, registered trademark of Wemo, and the Jaro Ring, which is a ring with rings on it. Which brings us to things with string. We have lasso throwing, and poi spinning, which is very pretty if done at night and on fire. We have the yo-yo, the Chinese yo-yo, and the Diablo. Incidentally, whenever I write Diablo on the computer, I get the red line because the computer thinks I am misspelling the Spanish word for devil, when the etymology of the word Diablo comes from the Greek prefix dia, meaning across, and bolo, meaning to toss or throw. So the Diablo means to toss or throw across, and has nothing to do with the devil. Also with string, we have the spinning top, the African oscillato, Astrojacks, which are three balls on a string. We have a cup and ball connected by a string. And not to be outdone, we have the Japanese version, the Kendama, which is a ball, string, stick, and cup game. Native Americans also had their own versions, making them with elk toe, the moose hide, sinew, and stick, and even sometimes dried squash. The list goes on and on and on. Which begs the question, why is the manipulation of skill toys for recreation and amusement good?